Today I would like to show you how you can make telescope work with the help of Edelweiss CAD CAM blocks better, faster and more accurate. In this case, with a software supported by ExoCAD, I first select the teeth on which I have already made primary telescopes for sintered or milled metal. I select the overpress crown option and just define the material for the substructure. There are a lot of parameters that can be set. Important is the overpress distance. 0.2 mm should be enough to have space for a parker and bonding after later processing of the metal construction. At the position where there are no more T's, I choose Overpress Pontic with the same settings. In the 2D scan, I determine the position of the crown and pontics. When generating the external telescope, I only set a cement gap in the occlusal area in order to achieve a perfect fit between primary and secondary telescope after polishing and a slight suction effect. Next, we construct the anatomy that we later milled with the Edelweiss CAD CAM blocks. I choose from various libraries that are best for the case. Bring the teeth into position step by step and use the tools for this. When using the overpress technique, the big advantage is that I do not lose the anatomy when shrinking. To mill the Edelweiss CAD CAM blocks, for example, I choose the hybrid block in size M and position my later veneer. The Edelweiss CAD CAM block makes it possible to mill the constructed anatomy for the definite work of the telescope bridge and save a lot of manual work. Which tools for milling I should use is given to me by the respective machine software. Most laboratories today do not lack sufficient work. They lack the hands that can do this work. To lose such a work by hand you need many many hours. With the Edelweiss CAD CAM block you can earn much more in the same time or spend your time with your family. Music